YouTube. So I'm working on uh, sanding down the uh, spoiler again. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to reshoot using the same paint gun uh, that I picked up in Home Depot. So right now what you're seeing is a 60 grit uh, sand down. And I'm gonna show you what the uh, 120, this is 120 that's on the power sander right now. I'm gonna do one half, this half will be 120 and this half will be 60. So you'll see how the 120 is removing the, uh, the 60 grit uh, scratches. So it should be, should be interesting, uh, stay tuned. All right, let's take you in. All right, so let's back up here. So you see the see the difference here. Uh, so which one's 120 and which one's 60? Well, you can't tell. Uh, this side here is 60. You can see all of the scratches that are in it. And 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60. Bam! We start to see a change. You can feel the change between the two. Just listen. Pretty cool, right? That's that's just 120. I'm going to kick it up to uh, I think four or 600, and then I'm going to reshoot the primer. Uh, you know, sand, I will wipe it down, degrease it like heavily this time. Uh, but I want to make sure I get this all nice and well, so that I don't have any of those fish eyes. But yeah, so that that's the difference between 60 and 120. And I guess I'll do one more. Or maybe not uh, how the others look, but you get the idea. Anyway, let's continue. I'm going to send this down and uh, we'll get to the painting phase. Stay tuned.
just look at there. Got a nice little friend right here. Let's see if I can get him out without messing up the paint. And got him. Part of him. And got him. And got him. That only messed the paint just a little bit, but I can live with that. That's it right there. It's so glossy that it's messed up the camera. Like, oh my gosh, it's so glossy, it's so glossy. Anyway, thought I'd throw that in there. Blooper. YouTube, look at that. That is very, very good. Um, when, I th when I throw some gloss on this, oh my goodness, this thing is going to shine bright. Uh, but let's be transparent. There is one spot where I miss paint, and it's right there. It's not as uh, it's not as good as it could have been, and just you know, just being transparent there. That's just that's just rookie rookie mistakes. Uh, yeah, that's all it is. But I mean, you're really not going to see that either. I mean, most of the attention is going to be up here. Uh, and anyway, that was, this was just a test too. So, man. That's great. I can't wait to put some clear coat on it. I'm actually looking to order clear coat right now. And uh, these bad boys here have the, the rims that I'm going to install. I'm not even going to give you a sneak peek yet. You're going to have to wait and watch that video and we'll see what they look like. But with that being said, go ahead and uh, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. If you are not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button or punch it uh, with your fist. And uh, stay tuned to some some pretty cool and interesting videos, I think. And, uh, you know, just a way to spice up that focus. Uh, you know, it's a good daily driver. And, uh, yeah, we got some pretty cool content coming, you know. Let me know down in the comment section what you thought about this one and what you'd want to see in the upcoming video. Also, check out, I do have a Patreon now um, if you want to support the channel. Um, I would like, I am in talks right now with a, uh, mechanic about learning how to remove the engine and transmission. So I'm thinking about putting in a focus ST engine, uh, cause it seems like everything would line up, um, in the car. I just want to make sure that it can be done. So I'm working with him and talks and I found an ST engine, uh, that might work for the car. Uh, but of course that's gonna it's gonna take funds to do so you know if you want to see that you know go ahead and and try to support that that project that's coming up and you'll get to see if it works firsthand anyway with that being said peace <laughs>